Well, with the Packers season over, many Northeast Wisconsinites are focusing on the new sport that suits this time of year, ice fishing. There are ways you can stay safe out on the ice while the warm temperatures stick around. And as Local 5's Justin Rosavi reports, an area expert with more than four decades of ice rescue experience is urging winter anglers to put safety first. Experts tell me that the strength of ice is difficult to assess and there's no such thing as ice that's 100% guaranteed to be safe. Don Herman has been doing ice rescues for more than 40 years. Vehicles, ice shanties, four-wheelers, snowmobiles, UTVs, whatever falls through the ice, we can get out. And he says when setting out to go ice fishing, the first thing to do is check with local fishing clubs for the most up-to-date information on ice conditions. That's the best way. Call your local fishing club. They know what's out in front of them. Herman gives specific guidelines for what is enough ice to safely fish. Two to four inches to walk out, four to eight, ten inches for ATVs, snowmobiles, and UTVs, and then you need at least a foot for vehicles. He says there's about seven inches of ice on Lake Winnebago this weekend, which makes it okay to go ice fishing as long as you don't bring your vehicle. I recommend, like, right now, this time of year, early in the year, we haven't had any cold weather, is either walk out or ATVs. Herman also recommends going with a friend, wearing a floatable suit, and bringing a whistle to blow for help if you do indeed fall in. And all of these ice fishing safety tips are, well, just the tip of the iceberg. We have much more on our website, wearegreenbay.com. Reporting on Lake Winnebago, Justin Rosavi, Local 5 News. Thank you, Justin. Also on our website is a link to Sunk's Facebook page where Don Herman consistently posts updates on the ice conditions at Lake Winnebago.